Why you always try to run and hide? Always have my name up in your mouth, you out of line. You gon' make me pop up at your door like surprise. Hey beautifuls, it's Ashley Desires, and I'm here again with another crochet look. We'll be doing the crochet faux locks. So obviously we need a foundation, and right now I'm sectioning off a little piece of hair in the back, just making sure I don't have that in the way because we'll be braiding that at the end. I know there's so many different types of braiding techniques now for the crochet look, but she just wants the generic type of braiding foundation because she doesn't have to put in a ponytail or whatever. But with this foundation, we will have a lot of more braids than the Havana Mama Twist. And also we'll be intertwining even more because we don't want the hair to look too bulky and too big. So we're gonna get some of that good Eco Styling Gel. I use this at the beginning of the braid just to make sure that it holds onto the edges really strong and that there won't be any slipping. I'm also going to use braiding hair just to make sure that her cornrows stay intact and I'm not going to use too much because I don't want the braids to be too big. So with this braid we're going to stop halfway because we're going to intertwine it with the braid that we're going to make next to it and we're going to section it off with the clip so it's not in the way when we make the other braid. Now with this braid, we're going to meet it with the braid right next to it, intertwining it, and then we're going to make it into one braid at the end. Now that we're coming to the ending of this braid, we're going to take out that little section that we have, and we're also going to take that end piece where that braid is, and we're going to loop it into that braid, and we're going to start braiding across at the bottom. Can't you see? You're my delight, lady. I just feel like I won't get you out of my mind. I feel love for the first time, and I know that it's true. I can't tell by the look in your eyes. With that little piece of hair at the ending of our braid, you can either crochet it in the braid or you can just rubber band it off, or you can just sew it in the braid. That's what I like to do, because I don't want it in the way, and I also don't want the braid to unravel. This is the faux locks that my client brought in. She actually took the packaging off, so I'm not sure where she got it from. But you can see that this doesn't have any loops, so we we'll have to make our own loops, and this is how the end looks. But there's also some companies that have it. Bobby Boss has it, Janet Collection, also the Isis Collection has them. I know you can buy these online or in stores, but these are like the companies that most people like to use. So I'm gonna talk you through this. You open up the latch, you put the crochet needle through the braid, get the middle piece of the faux locks, put it in the opening and close it up. Then you pull it. Since you don't have a loop, you have to make your own so that there's gonna be like a little small circle. You open it up and you get the ending piece of the faux locks, put it through the opening and then pull the ending piece of the faux locks. And that's really all you have to do.
So this is the finished look on my client. If you guys want any more how-to videos, just tell me which types you guys want to see. Also, if you want to make an appointment, just go to the description box down below and you'll see how to do that. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Love,